Shield is the fastest way to go from store to stand. The Savage Arms Axis XP certainly makes a strong case for its motto. This affordable bolt action comes with a factory mounted and bore sighted Weaver 3x9x40 perched atop its carbon steel, matte black receiver. A synthetic sporter stock keeps overall weight reasonable while maintaining durability. A straight comb provides an excellent cheek weld, while a pistol grip and inset forend round out the rifle's comfortable ergonomics. Length of pull is 13 and 3 quarter inches. Sling swivel studs reside fore and aft for quick and easy sling attachment. Within the aforementioned carbon steel receiver resides a bolt with a floating head. This feature allows the head a minute amount of travel, enough to fully engage the lugs and rear face of the cartridge without custom gunsmithing to perfectly square the bolt to its action. The action is fed by a four round metal detachable box magazine released by a plastic catch at its front. A two position tang safety, skeletonized bolt handle, and curved trigger, though not Savage's flagship AccuTrigger, round out the controls on this firearm. All barrels measure in at 22 inches, with the lone exception of our test model, chambered in 350 Legend, which sports an 18-incher with a 1 in 16-inch twist. Out on the range, the Savage Axis XP displayed deer-dropping accuracy. The trigger featured a little more travel than I've become accustomed to from Savage, but still allowed for consistent shot placement, and the bolt started out tight, but worked into a smooth operation after just a few shots. All in all, the Axis XP showed itself to be a perfectly reliable woods gun. Well made, rugged, and not terribly heavy, our rifle weighed in just a hair under 7 pounds, while non-350 Legend models reportedly sit around 7.4 pounds, the Axis XP promises to be a favorite for those looking for fully assembled, out-of-the-box accuracy. Further, for an MSRP of just $415, it's a hard choice to argue with. For more information on the Axis XP, please visit savagearms.com, and as usual, for more Sunday Gun Day, check out AmericanHunter.org.